going to be continuing Disney's Heroes Battle Modes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead today and start off in crates and open a gold crate here. And we've got number one dime. Okay, so I've got 24 of those, but that will be useful in, in the enhancement shop. In my last video, I did quite a bit of detailed talk about the enhancement shop and sort of how it works and why you would want to do it. So make sure to watch that video if you guys missed it. Now, in the daily sign-in, Mickey Mouse's chip, so I would get seven today, so I'm definitely claiming those. That is insane. Now, I was just playing around in the game, guys, and I totally didn't mean for this to happen, but I brought in Nick Wilde. I was just opening a side uh, crate. I was sort of by accident because I didn't really have the gold for it. Anyways, I opened it and managed to get Nick Wilde's chip out of that, so I was kind of surprised. I thought we could only get that in diamond crates, but I got it out of a gold one, so I was pretty happy about that. So now Nick Wilde is here, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade him a little bit needs to be level two which we can totally do that because I've got loads of these so let's go ahead and do the badges and just so you guys know when I said these I meant the XP uh, drinks there they're kind of like the Red Bull of the game to be honest <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and promote Nick Wild from a white to a green here we go so we can see his new core stats they went up uh, let me know in the comments below whether you guys have Nick Wilde and whether you think he is a great character uh, to power up to be kind of one of your top guys in your roster. New skill unlocked, Shuriken Pops. Nick pulls out some stashed popsicles and flings three of them at the closest enemies, dealing 218 damage with each hit. Sweetness. All right, so we could power him up again. I'll just put on a few things here. Not too, too many... You know what? Why not? Let's just let's just power him up again. Why not? Yay! So he's been upgraded again, and his stats went up even more. So that is amazing. I'm not going to do him again, even though I just said I wouldn't do that, and then I did. But I'm just going to leave it at that. So I put on four badges, and we've got some other badges and stuff that I could do. But I, I need to get him to level 20 for that. So I'll let him battle a little bit first and see how he does. All right, so... Speaking of battling, why don't we go into the arena? I won't use Nick here to start, but let's go ahead and start with somebody who's 12,000. Now, I should be able to beat them pretty easily, but um, you never know. Sometimes these things can surprise me. Looking good so far, though. Victory! Yay! Okay, so we won our first arena battle of the day here. Now let's go into the port. Ooh, and in the port we have got the docks and we have got the warehouse open for battling. So, let me explain. The docks, they are for XP. So those XP energy drinks I was just talking about. Yep, they are where you want to get them here. So the other place, the warehouse, this is where you earn extra gold. So you earn credit cards, and those credit cards can be transferred in the market for gold. So you know what? Frankly, they are both amazing. But we'll start off in the warehouse. It's kind of my favorite. Now, at the end of this, there's probably going to be a video ad um, that will say that you can win two times the rewards. And that is a new feature to the game. But I'm actually really enjoying it because getting double the amount of gold at this point, since they've added enhancements and stuff like that to it, we need the extra gold. It's not even funny how much we need it. All right, so here we are in stage three. Should be pretty easy to beat this. There we go, victory. And we got some silver credits here and some gold ones. So I can get two times the reward just by watching this ad, like I said. So definitely worth doing it. Now, I've seen this ad before. Uh, this game looks kind of interesting. Um, definitely involves, I think, a lot of thought process and tactic. Mind you, this Battle Heroes game does as well, but um, this one's a little bit more different. T tactical, yes, it is definitely a very tactical game. Need lots of control, as it says, and yeah, so Command and Conquer Rivals, so you can download that for free. I'm not going to do that right now because guess what, guys? I got to go ahead and battle again. There we 
There we go, victory. I'm not gonna watch the two times words because I've got lots of these mini XP drinks, so I'll just leave it for now. Normally though, I would watch it just for the extra canisters. Now here we can see 26,000, so it really only would have been 13,000 if I hadn't have doubled those points, so I'm glad I did. In the market today, Hades is available to purchase one of his chips. Now we tend to bring him in. I've not been fortunate enough to uh, get any more of these chips. I would definitely love if the market would allow you to buy more. Even if it costs a little bit more, I'd be totally okay with that at this point. But unfortunately, they have not incorporated that into the game just yet. Maybe they will in the future though. Now here in the arena shop, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase one set of Sully and Boo chips. So that's 500 that we're spending, but that's okay. I've got quite a few here. Uh, don't have anything in the surge. City Watch, I do. So Jessie chips are gonna be useful because she's in my top guns, and so is Mr. Incredible. City Watch chips are not too difficult to get as long as you play every single day, and uh, yeah, I like City Watch, to be honest, guys. Definitely one of my favorites, for sure. Bogo Buddy's Memory. Here we go. So here, this is, these I'm still a little bit confused on, guys. If you guys have any tips for these memory things, let me know in the comments. I will spend 40 gems on it, because I really don't understand. I was going to hold off from buying them, but you know what? I feel like I'm getting closer to going purple, and I have noticed people with purple ones on there um, and they've got some of those chips added so I'm not sure if you just need to have Bogo as a hero or they have to battle together I'm not quite sure but if they do have to battle together then um, I think that won't happen in terms of like the arena and stuff like that but definitely uh, later on probably in the game when we start doing more battles with uh, those guys and stuff like that. So maybe in the elite campaign like some of the earlier stages I can have those two work together But I'm gonna have to remember a lot of stuff I might need to start writing those things down if I'm not careful. There's so much detail and all that So we'll just have to wait and see there Actually, I haven't battled with Jack-Jack that much lately, so I think I should start using him a little bit more I think that would be fun Victory! I do think he's going to be the most powerful superhero, to be honest. I don't know for sure if that's the case, but when he grows up, I think he's literally going to be the most powerful. He's got way too many abilities. And that is something I would like to see the Incredibles do, is maybe age them a little bit, so that we can see maybe Jack-Jack as a teen. That would be kind of cool. Or even like Dash's age, that would be a little bit better. Um, and then Violet maybe can be having some sort of storyline to go to college and stuff like that and how she manages it with her superpowers or whether she even goes to college because of that like I don't know I would definitely like to see what uh, the Incredibles could do for an Incredibles 3 if they age them a little bit again not too much but I would like to see Jack Jack as like a kid being able to do stuff figuring out his powers and things like that all right so let's Oh, wow. Okay, City Watch, I did not do very well in the last time I did it. Okay, so City Watch here, I've got some stuff I can do. So I want to start doing that to get some extra gold and stuff like that to do enhancements. But I'm thinking, I was thinking I would just go ahead and do it. But I think now what I really want to do is go into the campaign here. And um, I wanted to check out defeating some of these viruses or infections that have sort of invaded the street. So Baker Street Station has been invaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the virus here. Now in the next round, maybe I'll remove Vanellope, and I'll add um, Nick Wilde in there and see how he does. I don't think he'll be that great, but I'm hoping the other heroes can carry him along, so we'll see. I would like Vanellope though, guys, to be back on my dream team. I know I've said that probably quite a few times in my videos, but I would definitely love it if that happened. Victory! All right, so let's go ahead. The virus there, peace and prosperity have returned to Baker Street Station once more. All right, where else is the infection? Five, okay, I got a stick. Chapter five, I have to stick with these heroes, guys, but I will change it up. I noticed, I think it's, what's it, chapter three has? One, two, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. 
Yeah, see, this one I definitely need more of my top guns. I'm even wondering if I should have added Mr. Incredible to the roster too. I think it'll be fine, but I'm more worried about the time. Okay, one more stage to go here. Oh, there's Ralph and Fix It Felix. And if you guys are playing Disney Magic Kingdom Game 2, make sure, guys, to watch those videos because um, we have a limited time wreck it, Ralph, or I'm gonna wreck it. It's called limited time event going on in the kingdom, and that is definitely loads and loads of fun. Holy moly, how am I losing right now? Okay, I didn't lose. Phew! Wow, I only deserve one star on that. See, it's good I didn't add Nick Wilde to that. Fire is cleared. Peace and prosperity have returned to Park Ave. Rooftops once more. All right, so... Oh, chapter six. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I thought it was like three up there, but nope. I've got it wrong, guys. So where can I try Nick out? Why don't we just choose, like, I don't know, the very first origin station, and we'll just go ahead and take Penelope off and add Nick. Now, we'll just get to see some of his battling skills and stuff here. So he just throws his popsicles. It's basically his big attack. <laughs> yep, that's basically it. He's just so chill and relaxed when he's he's battling. It's a little bit scary. All right, so I'm gonna open one more gold crate here to finish this video off. And I've got the Blue Bird of Happiness. So thanks for watching another Disney Heroes Battle Modes game video. Make sure you guys subscribe, and we will see you guys for the next Disney Heroes Battle Modes game video. Bye!